totally the person who loses the car in the parking lot. So could you imagine how difficult it would be if every car was pink? Needle in a haystack, people. Needle in a haystack. So we thought it would be a great idea to repaint our Barbie cars. We took Barbie's pink Volkswagen Beetle and painted it yellow. I like. I know, right? It's the perfect car for our custom Emma Swan. And it wasn't that difficult to do. The most difficult part was actually taking the car apart. This Barbie car has working doors and all little uh, fun details like that actually make it very, very difficult to pull it apart. So um, a simpler car like this Barbie Glam convertible that I found at Target is a lot easier. You don't even have to remove the wheels. The lights and other details are stickers and you can just put them on afterwards. So that like cuts down a whole bunch of the workload. For the Beetle, the lights are a separate piece and the grill, so all of that has to be removed before you paint the car. To paint the cars, I used Rust-Oleum brand spray paint and I made sure that all of my paints were the same brand because I have heard that if you mix different brands, they can actually like, uh, like curdle or bubble up on you and you don't want a car, you know, it's all messed up. So make sure you use the same brand for everything that you do. Since Barbie cars are plastic, you have to make sure the spray paint says bonds to plastic. That's very important, otherwise you go through all this work and it'll literally just come right off. Before painting, you have to check the weather. Spray paint tends to not dry so well when it's wet or humid outside. So you really want a warm sunny day and it's a good idea to make sure that you have like a couple of warm sunny days in a row before you start this project. Then outside on a warm sunny day, with adult supervision of course, you can paint away. Important note, if painting in the spring, be aware of pollen. I was spray painting this Barbie Glam convertible and pollen got everywhere. So I didn't touch it, I just allowed it to completely dry. Now I'm just gonna wipe off the pollen. I'm using a piece of felt. Ah, just as I feared, there are little tiny spots all over it. Doing a repaint, uh, there is a chance that your project may come out with undesirable results. However, I think this car is still salvageable, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and uh, see how it looks. Note to self, do not pull off the stickers because you take the risk of removing the paint. That would have been good to know before I did it. This is why a protective clear coat is a good idea. I'm pretty sure we can repaint any Barbie, Monster High, our generation car that is made of plastic. Just make sure you have a good paint primer so that it sticks. We even repainted a bike. And we hope you have as much fun as we did making your own doll car repaint. We want to give a shout out to Aria Jackson. What's up?